What's up folks, uh, welcome back, I'm Dailyfix and I just had the scariest journey of my life. <laughs> um, my, my friends were, f were shooting at me <laughs> because there was a, a Xenon Raider uh, flying next to me, which is great because this ship just cloaks and just ruins, <laughs> ruins my day. Uh, shields were down to about 20%. Uh, luckily, we were able to get into territory, which is um, less frightening, less very, very much less frightening than this. Uh, so, we are at our base currently, and we are going to be docking. And uh, then we'll see. Also, there's a lot of stuff going on. I think there's this ship somewhere around here. That is uh, doing those scans. But then again, we still have a mission to do with the um, for the station, I believe. It's it's a trivial mission. I'm not particularly sure. I think it involves us doing scans uh, and all. So uh, we will. So we got ourselves a container up here. And I'm still undecided about whether or not we stick to the Terran designs. I think just to make things easier, not sticking with them would definitely be the easiest option. So there's my other ship, just landed Starting as well. Planted. And let's get over here. And hopefully... I do need to keep the ship uh, very, very secure. Because I don't think there is going to be any ship like this. I don't know if I ever can replace it. Uh, Daily Industries 30, okay. Um. Oh, how fascinating. This ship appears to be equipped with rather sophisticated spoofing technology that exceeds my wildest imaginations. I am devastated. But despite my numerous qualifications at the highest level in many subjects, I am unable to reverse engineer this peculiar apparatus. You will have to discover its functions in the field. I did, however, manage to decrypt the ship's navigational data. You should be able to find its point of origin now. Okay. I don't see any new ships. The Yaki Home Sector. Oh man, this this is getting something, right? Oh my. So uh, I'm I'm still very terrified about using the ship. So I'm actually going to be placing this. Let's undock. On top of my medium ship. And also, where does it want me to go? Are you caught to be kidding, dude? Seriously, it's it's around... We haven't discovered... I think it's around in this system then that there's the Xenon. Now, before we do anything awkward like that... Let's take a look. Do we have the faction representative around here somewhere? No, I think it is is somewhere else. I think he's around in this region, actually. Uh, we could actually bring my scout over here. So I want you to not explore that, explore this. What are you doing currently? Okay, you're going to be... Stopping all orders. Otherwise, that's going to take us forever. Now, I want you to go... Explore this. Ah, man, there's, there's, there's not a whole bunch to be had. And what we will do is, instead of me actually going to get my medium ship... I think it's safer that we do this mission by ourselves and there's the music again which is extremely awkward if someone has an answer for that do uh, do let me know uh, why that is because I don't know super highway grand exchange let's get towards four. it and if you will find out what I've been looking for if we found a uh, an enemy we are going to be not in the best of positions we just go over here, please? There you go. Dude, I, I, I really love the... Um, the speed of this ship. A lot. 
Let's go. So it is going to bring us nowhere. And we have a lot of flying. Let's do uh, autopilot so we can actually take a look at what's going on. Uh, so far we still have all of our, uh, of our ships. Did I get any more cash? Yeah, we do. And I'm actually just going to let it stay over there. Now, once we found find the faction representative, actually, I could I could ask him. Wait a minute. That's that's the way better. Autopilot. Stop. Disengage. Um, are you Talati? Yes. Uh, can we do a com? All stop, please. You. Com. Greetings. Where can I find your faction representative? You are amazing. There you go. So it is over there. Let's autopilot over in that region. Uh, so the faction representative apparently is next to the map. I feel like he might be lying. <laughs> he might be. Uh, no, probably not. Uh, still, I, I need to discover the majority of all of these, um, all of these areas. And you're going to stay over here. So... Mm. Yeah, once we actually are able to build all of the other things, we can actually look at where do we want to place. I know I'm not making any sense right now. We're going to be buying the blueprints of the majority of all production facilities. And we're going to be getting the, uh, the trade, so we don't have to do all of these damn satellites everywhere. And we can just do that with wharfs, and other points of interest. Now, I'm not going to remove all of them. Because I think that that barely makes sense. I don't know if it's easier to... Can, can we do that over here? Like, destroy. I would really like to be able to... Oh, man. These are going to be fun times. Just getting all of these satellites and selling them. No, that's nothing. No, we're not going to do that. If you ever start a game like this and you make 10 million, just, just make sure you don't have satellites everywhere. It, it, it isn't doing you any f any favors, trust me. So, Memorial Prophet, where is my scout? So, he's actually heading over right now. Luckily, these guys are friendly. Well, not really friendly. They are at negative 15, I believe. So, we have to be careful not to do anything st system. stupid. Right which I'm um, qualified a pro to do stupid things. He's going to be discovering all of that. We could also use the uh, the sector or sector discovery, the, the mod, but I'm, I'm not particularly sure I like it. Okay, let's see where you are off to. And with you, I mean we. It looks I like there I... is a gate. Really now? We completely missed the gate. Okay, well, that's interesting. Disengage. Let's go. We'll fly ourselves, considering we just don't know where it is. If there's going to be a scene on, I'm going to be absolutely butthurt. Um, but we can actually get started on building bases. And making more money. And I want to have all of the production, so I can see which ones I need to put together. To um, make a few sta stations that actually make sense. Entering system. Yanamos Zura. Are you kidding me? Is he is he moving? Oh no, there we go. So we actually discovered where he is. Autopilot. Let's turn on the Engaged. autopilot again. A lot of fighters. These are the heavy fighters, and they actually do amazing work against any aliens. Ooh, now that's an interesting station. Autopilot. Disengaged. Phoenix. Vanguard. Can they get docking, docking permission? Granted. I think the entrance is on the other side. Well, can we enter through... Yeah, we have to go through its uh, front. Interesting stations, though. Not particularly sure if I'm... Well, I kind of... Yeah, it is. It's, 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 if, if these are habitable... How do you call them again? Uh, habitabilities? No, hab habit 
Habitats. Wow, that hurt. Uh, if these are habitats, then it is actually functional and that makes it really cool. But we'll go around here. Now we have a docking computer. Interesting inner layer. Damn. Very cool. Very cool. Now this is one of those places where you might want to place a satellite. So let's get over there. And here we go. Now I wonder how expensive this is because we done. need to get a bunch of stuff actually. It's, it's not just... Attack. It is a very it's much... Uh, we will. Let's go towards the Trade Guild. See what he has to say. Maybe um, I, I would probably get the trade deals as well. Because I would like to set up some other trade. Pilot, it is good to see you. Our guild is currently seeking to increase our presence in the market. To retain our lead in the market... We're offering membership to a select number of trusted individuals. This is a one-time investment, after which you will have access to a number of job listings. Interesting. So, let's invest uh, eight, eight eight, 80,000. Very good. I'll update our database right away. You will now be able to see jobs on offer in the areas we operate. We expect good things from you. I don't know if they're good, but I will definitely try. Let's go. And now we should go and try looking for the faction representative who is also over here. Now, there's going to be a bit of a ceremony because I we do have plus 22 relationship with this faction. It's an honor. To see you. Let us receive rank. We're happy that our previous interest in you was not unfounded. You have performed well enough to be rewarded. It's an honor to present you with a new rank amongst our company. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. <laughs> great. These benefits are tied to the rank. So if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record and our trust, I'm sure we don't have to worry about that. I hope you find these rewards fitting to the work you've done. May they bring you profit. Given your elevation, you may also find opportunities in a number of organizations under our administration. They may be worth your attention. Once again, I give you thanks for your efforts. We look forward to continuing our partnership in the future. Good profit to you. Oh, yes, it is. It's an honor to so, see you here. So, show me your licenses. So, for 16 million, we are getting the trade offer. So, uh, with the purchase of this license, the holder gains the ability to view all trade offers on stations belonging to the issuing faction, regardless of when, uh, whether those stations are already known at the time of purchase or discovered later. If the license holds... Okay, so basically, you don't have to... You buy this one times, and you can also do this with hacking, but uh, we'll go into that later, not it's right now. Let's go to towards blueprints. Now, production-wise, dear God, they are very expensive. Um, what do we, is it that we want? Now, I think we want hull parts. And what will we need more? Let's see, if we want hull parts, let's go to Encyclopedia. To I can't reach it, come on, come on, dude, seriously, let, let me go towards the Encyclopedia. Uh, where's, where's, can I find hull parts, please? Apparently I cannot. That is, oh, there we go, never mind. So, used to manufacture, what we also need is... Uh, we need energy cells, graphene, and refined metal. So it's you, uh, let's go over you. here. Let's go modules, production. How expensive is the energy cells? 
we need the graphene production, the hull part production, and the refined metals. So these four we need already. Also, build modules. I am looking... Oh, no, not build modules. We are going for storage. And we'll get the large one. Look at that. Way less expensive. I'm not going to buy all of them. We'll do that later. We'll go with docking modules. We already have the uh, the standard one. One small, six... Uh, uh, six smalls, one medium. And I would like to go with the... The luxurious one that has three mediums and six smalls. It's more expensive, but I think it's uh, it's definitely worth it. And we'll go for the docking tier. Well, we can do the one or the T. Maybe we should go for the E. It's the most expensive one, and I think it will definitely help us in the future. Let's get the most expensive one. So we have other modules. Uh, these are we're going to get all of you. Here we go. So that is going to be a, a bit. Let's confirm this. Let's Good take a look to you. into the encyclopedia again. And we'll go to where's uh, hull parts. So for graphene, what do we need for graphene? Uh, methane and energy cells. Okay, that's good to know. And we need the... We already have the refined metals, which is over here. So energy cells and ore, which is not that difficult to do. Uh, so we can actually make hull parts. What would we need to construct? Let's go to modules. And storage modules. And there's the Taladi. We need hull parts, energy cells, and claytronics. What do we need to make claytronics? Uh, where are you? Clay, 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 clay. Is that with a... It is a C. Claytronics. Here we go. Oh, my. Ooh. Energy cells. And an antimatter. Microchips, quantum tubes. Quantum tubes. Okay, antimatter cells is hydrogen and energy. So antimatter cells, microchips. Microchips need silicon wafers. Silicon wafers needs just silicon. Okay, let's go with the antimatter an and silicon wafers. Otherwise, my memory just stops. So we need silicon wafer production. A probably smart chip production as well. Smart chip production. Um, anti meta cell production. It's basically the cheapest stuff that we need, right? Okay, that's two. Good profit to you. Yeah, it's good profit to you as well because you are going to be making a quick buck out of me. Uh, where's Claythronic? Okay, microchips and quantum tubes. Microchips. Okay, so we can get the microchip factories and now quantum tubes. Uh, probably it's with a C, right? Uh, quantum tubes. Super fluid coolant. Dig, we need a lot. And apparently energy cells and helium. So super fluid coolants, microchips, and what was the other one again? Dear Lord. Um, quantum tubes. It's an How expensive will that be? Uh, show me the blueprints. Uh, modules, production. Uh, where's the microchips? Is it small chip production? Or is it actually like microchip production? Here's the super coolant. Let's take that. 
Swamp, Sunrise, Spy, Space Weed. Let's go to the chip. And Quantum Tube. We already have that one. Microchip Production. Maybe it's not the Smart Chip. Let's get rid of it. Smart Chip Production, Microchip. Claytronics is 20 million. Oh dear, that's that is quite Good expensive. To you. Dude, seriously. Let's go to my owned stuff. Uh, let's go just to stations. Okay, you. I don't think we will find 20 million though. Well, maybe not 20 million, but at least we'll have um, near. Oh, actually, never mind. This, this factory is doing great. 22. So it leaves us a, a whopping 2 million then. Did I purchase those things or did I just, just click away? It's I think I just clicked away. Show me your blueprints, modules, production. No, actually, I did purchase them. Claytronics. Super colorant. Yeah, we own it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we leave, we are left with 1.4 million. Oh my. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and we didn't even take the uh, the base yet. So before we leave and we continue our mission, now we know that in this sector, there is quite a bit of ore, silicon, and hydrogen. So if we could start a base in this vicinity, it is relatively safe. There's also helium, hydrogen, Methane, actually, we can do... We need this entire system. This is going to be great. Let's go to a plot. And we have grown attached to the 4x4s. I know we can also go larger, but so far I've not needed that at all. So half a million. Okay, maybe we can actually do a 2x2. Two like we're not we're, we're not going to do large ships directly, right? Let's create this plot. Yeah, this is uh oh, getting a call there. Where do I want to place this? I can place it down here. I don't want it to be too near to everything because I kind of want to have a bit of a uh, a look at things. So let's place you down there. Let's buy the license. Let's continue. Okay, here we go. So, can I... There's a lot of Terran stuff that I'm not going to use right now. We are going to look in hull parts. That is what we need. So, where's hull parts? That's over here. Let's just place it down here. Now, logical overview says we need graphene and refined min uh, minerals. We need to make both, so graphene and refined metals. Refined metals, all parts, refined. We can actually just confirm the changes, we're not building them anyways. Uh, what else? So we need energy cells, methanes and ore. Energy cells. Let's go back. We can, let's see, there's 100% sunlight in here, which is good. Let's go in here right now. Let's go with the the normal ones. These are the, the regular ones. Okay, so this is the four items we need to get our business started. What else? Because we need to have a normal container, a liquid container, and a solid container. I could do small, but I kind of don't want that. Let's continue over here. And let's get started with... We can do a small one. I kind of want to go with the luxurious one. Place you down here. The e dock is incredibly large, so we're not going to get that. And we'll go with the large container, the liquid container, the solid container, and we can actually do another large container. Uh, we're definitely going to be 
increasing the base. So you can stick on there. You can go over there. And now there's this one tiny, tiny contraption down here. Do you fit? It feels like you do fit, but we'll place you down over there. What else do we need? Like I said, this is going to be quite, well, not really cheap. It's, it's rather expensive. We have a docking place. We got a lot of storage and we now have a double container. Let's remove this one. So this is, oh, we need energy cells. So production, energy cells. Hmm. I place you down here and just rotate you. You're just outside of the um, the area we're in. Can we just go with shuffle? And that would actually work. And why did it get a Terran cross section? don't want the Terran cross-section. Uh, we're going for the regular cross-section. That's a bit smaller, actually. Okay, um, you. Move you away. You are weird. And let's place you down over there. Energy cells. Just, just one is going to be enough right now. Can I place you... Let me place you down there. Like this. Can I now shuffle? Actually, yes, I can. Wow, this is... Uh, not inside of my territory game. Nor is that. But this, this could work. But you... Need to be... Over there. And you... Mm. You can plug over there, right? Are you using again a Terran cross section? Yes, you are. Game is just being stubborn. This would fit, right? So we have another Terran cross section over here, it seems. Why does the game just do this? Why don't you listen to me? Okay, you just get you as close as it's possible and get a this can you connect somewhere? You can connect over there. Remove the cross section. Let's remove you. Can I Connect you over there, and then connect you. Oh, come on. Okay, well. Let's get you off that. We do need a cross-section. That, 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 that much is clear. Can I just get you, please? Thank you. Put you over there. You. You can connect over there, and you... And actually connect over there. We we then we did it. <laughs> we managed. All of it is on it. And this could be our very cheeky, tiny, tiny base that is going to make us whole parts and hopefully a shitter money. Now we don't need guns on this. Not yet. Because let's, let's just leave it load out on empty. Once we um produce everything, that will be a different manner. Now for you, we need a construction vessel. Let's select you. And we are not going to use restrictions because we just don't have everything that we need to actually do this. So let's close the menu. How expensive is this station going to be? 
Let's go to project owned. Let's click you. Budget is just 4 million. Actually, that is not that expensive. That is not that expensive. Uh, let's get the trade out of you. Energy sales estimate. Uh, I would just be very happy if we can actually do this right now. Let's go 500. Silicon wait, come on, you have been my my my, my bread and butter. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just, just get all of our cash out of this. All of it. Energy production. And actually we managed, guys. Here we go. Let us accept the estimate for build. And yeah. We are starting to venture out, getting bases into the Grand Exchange, making sure we uh, we are getting hull parts. We will drastically expand this base. Trust me on this. And at some point, uh, looking into like research, teleport range, is we don't have any of these. And I'm sure that's Escalatronics, smart chips, energy cells. And we're now actually going to be producing energy cells around here. What I'm going to try at least do it, uh, for doing is is getting this uh, base set up and slowly get a trader in here as well. That is going to be trading because my scout here has a level 3 pilot. So we could use a, um, a large ship. So actually, should we do medium ships for trading? And we have all trade details from over here. So that's going to be nice. And we have it from the Terran. So if they expand into this uh, base over here, we will get new trade data. And slowly we will improve our relations with the other factions because they will start buying from us. And at some point we are going to be hoarding our cash, getting all of the licenses and decide on what to do. But first step, we need a good economy to do wars, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.